Oh, hey there, friends and neighbors. Welcome back to the RV Rundown. This is season two, and we've got some new things in store for you. We're pretty excited about it. We're gonna slow things down, do things a little differently, really focus on the RVs and their lifestyle amenities. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Today, we're coming at you from a great location. We've got a beautiful spot with an awesome new floor plan for the season. We're inside the Alliance Paradigm 295 MK. This is the shortest paradigm that they make and it's built with full-time use in mind, which means you can live out of it if you so choose. I like it a lot. It's got a lot of great features. We're gonna start checking it out right here in the kitchen. Like many of the paradigms that came before it, the 295 MK is loaded with lots of great residential features. The Samsung residential fridge behind me is one of them. The Insignia four burner stove is yet another. But this kitchen had to be shortened up just a bit in order to get us to that 33 feet 3 inches which is an awesome length because it gets us into so many state parks, so many campgrounds where a large, huge fifth wheel at 40 feet plus may not go. They didn't get rid of too much in the kitchen though. We still have solid surface countertops, a big island with a sink cover, big old sink for doing dishes, lots of space behind me around our Insignia oven for prepping. We even have small appliance stations like this over here with solid surface where we can store our toasters or coffee makers or whatever else, an ice maker, you name it, it can be set up there thanks to the plug. One place where I feel like we did lose a little bit is in some of the storage here in the kitchen. If compared to something like the 310, which is the next model up, what we find is that the 310 actually has a full-size pantry in the corner, where this is more equipped with just cabinetry, if you will, which works here. It's fine. There's plenty of space to store stuff, especially considering this is built with couples or solo travelers in mind. I still think it's a great kitchen where you can get everything done that you need to get done in terms of cooking a great meal for you and your friends and family. The living room's no slouch either. Let's go get comfortable in there. the 295 MK has a lot of features that we find in common with so many other Alliance Paradigm models. Back here we see that we have direct dump AC above us that's going to let that air flow straight into this room. As a matter of fact there's three of those high efficiency airs on board. Two of them can be run on 30 amp service and all three can run on 50 amp service. They're nice and quiet, so don't let that scare you that they're direct dump. Also back here we have huge atrium windows. These are awesome because they let in lots of light. They open up wide for great airflow on those cooler days. In addition to that, we have MCD roller shades in here. So that's going to be quick to release, quick to pull down, and they black out everything entirely. We have flush floor slides, so no tripping over any edges and no carpet to collect pet dander. Another great feature from Alliance is the fact that they put no vents in the floor. By putting them into the toe kicks of the island, it keeps dust and lint and dander from being trapped down in it. Also, we find some other cool stuff like hidden storage that we also see across the board in other Alliance models. Like on either side of the couch, there's a couple of cabinets that we can lift up to store away any unnecessary, unsightly things in the living room. Also behind our fireplace is yet another point for hidden storage, a great spot to hide away some blankets. Speaking of our fireplace, it's down below and 
great entertainment center featuring a huge LED Ultra HD TV. This is hooked up to a Bluetooth sound system. It has plenty of storage around it for having your DVDs or game systems. And also, we have our theater seating, which is directly across from that. This is electric. It reclines with ease. It even has a couple of cup holders built into it that are pretty easily accessible and act as a nice little armrest. In addition to all of that, we have the ability to sleep an extra two guests in the living room by way of a tri-fold sofa that pulls out to a queen bed, making it easy to accommodate tall friends. People like me, I'm six foot three, I need a lot of space. And this really allows for that. Speaking of needing space, the bathroom is awesome too, because at six foot three, I fit in there pretty great. Let's go check that out. Stepping up onto the upper deck, the first thing we come across is the bathroom. As you can see, as I've said before, I'm six foot three and I'm not even in the skylight of this bathroom. I have a couple of inches over my head next to the ceiling, but the skylight gives it just that much more room. Loads of elbow space in here and a great teak seat for sitting down at the end of a day and just relaxing in some hot water being poured over you. I love that. The glass doors and the one-piece shower surround make it really easy to clean up. And the epoxy poured countertops are keeping things nice and lightweight in here. And also still giving us loads of storage in the form of cabinetry over the sink and a medicine cabinet. They've put a high velocity fan in here for exhausting any and all fumes and smells. And that's directly over our foot flush toilet. Another thing that I like that they've done is they put sliding doors in so they aren't going to open up into the hall getting into the way and they're directly attached to our primary bedroom which features a king bed. this upper bedroom for a few reasons. One, Alliance is using the Lippert Space Saver upper deck. That's going to give us some extra headroom in there. I've mentioned it again. I'm six foot three. I know I beat that into the ground, but I'll take every inch I can get up here. Now, in addition to that, it's pretty plush. It's very comfortably equipped with a padded headboard in the back. Let's us sit up and really just kind of enjoy the evening as we sit in bed. That's directly across from our Ultra HD TV that's mounted up high on the wall. Below it, we have a chest of drawers with some hidden storage up top. There's even a nice little seat for putting on shoes at the beginning of the day with some extra storage down below it as well. Underneath me, this bed is strut assisted. It lifts to give us a spot to store away blankets and extra bulky items. The closet is literally a walk-in closet because at six foot three, I can step into this closet and shut the doors behind me. That's pretty impressive for any fifth wheel. It's set up with shelving, hanging space, extra shelves up top. And if you so chose, we could set up a washer dryer on either side so you could do laundry on the road. I think that's pretty slick. Guys, that pretty well sums up the inside of the Alliance. However, I do want to take you down, downstairs, show you the control panel, and also run the slides in to get a quick look at what it looks like in here with all of the slides closed before we head outside and check out some of the exterior features. Back here on the main deck, directly across from our entry door, we have our control panel. I love this. Everything's on its own rocker switch. All of the slides are individually controlled. 
both awnings individually controlled, and every light is labeled on its own rocker switch. Even the tank heaters, the water pump, and our gas electric water heater are all controlled right here. We have a dedicated switch to the overhead lights in here with a sliding dimmer. So there's no hunting it down, no going through menu systems on a touch screen. Walk through the door, hit a button, dim it to your needs, and you're ready to go. Both of our air conditioner controls for the primary room are right here as well. Again, just reinstating that everything to control the trailer is immediately accessible when we come through the door. I think that's pretty cool. Down low, we have shoe storage beneath the bottom step, so we don't have to track all the dirt and grime throughout the entire house. They've even put in our converter right here directly below the panel, giving us access to all of our breakers and fuses in case we need to diagnose something there. I like that a lot. It's all very convenient being right here by the entry door. Now before we pop outside, I want to show you one more thing. I want to run the slides in on this unit so you can see what it's like with the slides closed. Super easy to do. We have our panel right here. Now, as you can see, with the slides closed, we don't have access to a whole lot. The bathroom on the upper deck's about where it ends. Maybe a little bit of access to some things in the bedroom, but otherwise, we need to run slides out slightly in order to get to things if we need them when we're out on the road. Now that's not a bad thing. Again, all of these slides are individually controlled, so we can run them out just a hair, get into a cabinet, grab what we need, close it back up, and get going again. I think that's a fair exception for the size of the unit that it is and as compact as it is. I think it works. Now let's pop outside and check out some of the exterior features here. You know, Alliance has done a lot of things to really give their owners some peace of mind. Just smart things that a lot of other luxury fifth wheels aren't really doing. Simple things too, like a spray port that's right by the door. Simple, get to wash your bike off, your shoes off after being out on a long dirty day. That's something that is necessary and thoughtful, but you don't see it everywhere. Pretty cool. They also put propane outs on this side of the camper so that we can set up a grill if we need to. They know it doesn't have an outside kitchen and they know that's something that you want. Other things that are just smart are things like the two inch receiver hitch on the back of the camper, complete with four pin wiring so that you can hook up accessories like a small utility trailer. It's pre-wired for solar. That means it's easy to set it up on your roof. Speaking of the roof, it's PVC. And that's awesome because that can be fixed with general products that you can find at about any hardware store across the country. Pretty cool for something that, you know, is focused on that long-term live-in owner. Other things that I think are really smart are things like the centralized docking station. They've gone ahead and put everything into one place where we've got our wet bay. I like that because it keeps me from moving back and forth on the camper, trying to find and hookups and trying to find tank pulls. It's just all right there where you need it to be. And then we see other amenities that we see across the board on a lot of fifth wheels on the market today. Things like the six point level up, one touch of a button and the camper levels itself. They've even got a drop frame to give us more storage in the pass through. It's smart and I like it. I think that this product is a great one for somebody who is looking to live out of their camper or somebody who just wants to experience a little bit of luxury on a longer vacation. All in all, this is a very, very unique floor plan. It's super short for the fifth wheel that it is. It gives you a lot of space and it's gonna allow you to go more places. I think the 295 MK is gonna be a great choice for a whole lot of people. But that's about enough for today. It's time for me to get some fishing done and get back to relaxing. 
If you like what you've seen, you like the new format, please subscribe and let us know. And until next time, guys, happy camping.